Okay, Gary Richardson writes, Hey Collider, with Indiana Jones 5 now greenlit and hopefully as good as the original 3, I would like to ask you to think back to Raiders, Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade, and tell me firstly which of them is the best for you, and secondly, why is that? What makes the film stand out? For me, it's Last Crusade because I feel like it got back to what made Indy the success he was from Raiders, plus you have Sean Connery appearing as his father. Thanks for taking my question, and keep up the great work. <coughs> I love Gary's question because it's worded like something that would be on a test in high school. It's like, okay, so we have to tell you what movie, then we have to so tell you why that is. What makes it stand out versus the other two movies? I feel like I'm in school again, and I'm going to ace this test because I'm going to say that I agree with you, Gary. I think The Last Crusade is my favorite Indiana Jones movie. It's it's between that and Raiders of the Lost Ark, but I'm going to throw a shout-out to Temple of the Doom real quick, too, because Temple of the Doom... Uh, it's. I think it's my third favorite Indiana Jones movie, which is a high bar to it's hit. Temple of Doom. It is There's no the Doom. Temp do I say Temple of the Doom? Yeah. Did I say that? Yeah. You I'm, said it twice, dude. That's why I have to. I knew. It. I knew King Kong came out in '33. Give me a break. You get it. Seeing Harrison Ford in 1984 in Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Scary Doom, <laughs> that guy is like the most perfect movie star that we may have ever had on the face of the planet. He's in like that white tux and he's walking down a club Obi Wan. It's like. That is something different. That's a different species than what I am. So I'll give him that. I'm going to take Last Crusade for now. I might change my pick after you guys give yours. Why? Uh, what's your favorite one and why? Oh, uh, it's it's a very close between Raiders and Last Crusade. Mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately, I'm going to have to go with Last Crusade as well because I like the dynamic of Sean Connery and Harrison Ford in that movie. And also seeing young Indy played by River Phoenix in the beginning also was great. I, I think maybe the pace of it. I love Raiders of the Lost Ark, but it, it, it is a long film for an action adventure film. It's like, oh, I think over two it hours. Is, yeah. uh, I think The Last Crusade, I, I don't remember the runtime on it, but it didn't feel as, as long. How about you, Junior? Uh, well... I'm going with the original. Raiders of the Lost <laughs> Ark is my favorite of all of the uh, Indiana Jones films. Uh, I told uh, this story uh, a couple weeks ago. That's a, f a film I snuck into as a kid. I didn't even know what it was. I was like, Han Solo is in this movie, but it's like a <laughs> Western or something. Let's go see it. Me and a friend snuck in, and literally we saw it right as the Paramount logo turned into the mountain. So we didn't miss anything. And uh, I'll never forget it. It was one of the most exciting and fun uh, film experiences I've, I've ever had. And, you know, it's, it stands up every viewing, you know, from Bad Date to, like, him on the truck with the horses and just all the action scenes all the way down to the, the Ark of the Covenant at the end. I mean, there's so many fun set pieces and action scenes in that film. Harrison Ford, Karen Allen. To me, the original Raiders of the Lost Ark. I didn't like when they changed the title Indiana Jones and the and the Lost Ark. It's like it's Raiders of the Lost Ark, and that's what it is. And that's my favorite. I, you know, yeah, you got the boulder, you got the snakes. Uh, there, there's Throw me the idol, give me the whip. You know, it's all Alfred that. Molina. Yeah, gentlemen. Alfred Molina. Um, I think I, I think I'm going to stick with Last Crusade, not just because of what Dennis said. It was a great point about the multi generational Joneses in there, mm -hmm. but. If there's a tiebreaker, it's got to be the end credits when it's all four of them riding off into the sunset. And it's it's Marcus Sola uh, Jr. and then his dad, Sean Connery. And it's just like the most beautiful moment. I get so upset when I'm watching it on like TNT and then it comes on, then it ends and they just go, oh, coming up next on TNT. Uh, I'm like, no, this is one credit. You stay on that the entire time. Well, the yeah. end credits for Raiders of All Stark, they're like, where, where are they putting it? And it's just that dude with all those boxes where they're hiding it. You know, come on, we man. Top men. Okay, Kingdom top of the Crystal Skull gets a lot of crap for its ending as it should I, I, I will say the ending for uh, Last Crusade is pretty ridiculous as What's well. What's ridiculous about that, Dennis? The, the, There's an 800-year-old yeah. guy. He's been hanging yeah, out. Yeah, he's just been hanging been out. Well. Just hanging out there. He's, he's totally fine. I love how rusty he is, though. When he when he sees any of he's like, oh, I got to defend this thing. And then the <laughs> sword's like so heavy for him. And <laughs> it's like, right. yeah, do we have some questions about what he's been taking? A, to make himself look that blue. B, the fact that he's 800 years old. That's one farting corpse ladies and gentlemen <laughs> hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going